So I had problem number 16, which says find the number of integers k satisfying the following inequality. The absolute value of k minus 164 is less than the absolute value of k minus 260, which is less than the absolute value of k minus 30. So I started off making a number line with 30, 164, and 260. And I labeled these 1, 2, 3, and 4, the four cases. So the first case I did case 1 is when k is greater than or equal to 260. And so it ended up being k minus 164 is less than k minus 260, which is less than k minus 30. And it ends up being just negative 164 is less than negative 260, which is less than 30, which doesn't make sense. So that case one doesn't work. There's no integer k that can satisfy that. So that doesn't work. Case two is when k is in between 164 and 260, and k can equal 164. So you would get k minus 164 is less than 260 minus k, which is less than k minus 30. And the reason you get 260 minus k is because for the absolute value of anything, it e either equals the positive absolute value if k is greater than that zero, greater than or equal to that zero, but it turns negative if k is less than that zero. And since k is less than 260, that means it becomes the negative, which is 260 minus k. So you can get two out of these two equations. And so I started with k minus 164 is less than 260 minus k. And then I brought the k to 2k is less than 424. I divided two by both sides. Now I got k is less than 212. So I'm gonna mark 212. And then on the right side, I did 260 minus k is less than k minus 30, and I brought the k's together, so it'd be 2k is greater than 290, divide by 2, and I get k is greater than 145, and I won't mark that right now because 145 is less than 164, and I want to check if case 3 will match case 2. So, case 3 is when k is in between, or k is greater than or equal to 30, but is less than 164. I wouldn't make it Less than, or less than or equal to because I already did greater than or equal to 164 so it just has to be less than for this. So I would get 164 minus k is less than 260 minus k which is less than k minus 30 and you see that the k minus 164 became a 164 minus k since k is less than 164 for this. So on the left side the k's cancel out so that wouldn't work out at all but the right side I got 260 minus k is less than k minus 30, brought the 2, 2k together, 2k is greater than 290, divide by 2, and you get k is greater than 145. So now I can put 145, and so now I just have to check case 4, which is k is less than 30, and so you get 164 minus k is less than 260 minus k, which is less than 30 minus k. And that just means 164 was less than 260, which is less than 30. That obviously doesn't make sense. So we can tell by all of this, case 4 doesn't work. In between 30 and 145 doesn't work. 212 to 260 doesn't work. So you're just stuck with this zone right here. This is the possible values of k, and we have to check for that. So pretty much we have from... Or we have from 145 to 212, not including 145 or 212. That would be important. So I would end up doing 212 minus 145. I get 67, and I add 1 because we're counting integers, and we'd be forgetting an integer if we didn't add the 1. So that would be 68. And so 68 minus the 2, since remember, we are not including 145 or 212. So we'd end up getting 66, and 66 is the final answer.